What is up, everybody? Sorry I started so late tonight. I, uh, day job got in the way. So, uh, just a little insight. Uh, some of you know, I manage uh, our courier contracts that uh, we deliver. We contract companies deliver our freight. As you know, with the big cold going on, I guess there's issues in Michigan. There's sh either they're shutting us some parts of the state down or uh, <clears throat> issues with getting there. So I had to work on get pulling some data. And I'm curious in the chat, who uh, who writes SQL code, database design? Um, just trying to see what other things that people do uh, or are interested in data, data work, uh, kind of uh, networking that way, relationship building. So just curious, thought I'd throw that out there. But I digress. Let's get back to what we're here for. Uh, Susan, the chat. So Ann, how's it going? Scott, Mike, going on? Flipping particles. Justin, Pac-Man, Marie. Hey, Mom, what's up? John Daner. April. April, your lot arrives today. April was, I think you were the latest winner, right? The latest winner of the liquidation lot. Love to see what you get. So hopefully, let me post it here. Hopefully you're in the Facebook group. A little, uh, little plug here. Love to see what you guys find. Make sure a couple new people every day. So good, uh, good to see you guys in the group. As you, see, you can see, I literally set this up two minutes ago because my mannequin is still wearing my Philadelphia jersey. So uh, today, today was a good day. A um, couple best offers I had to uh, decline. Well, I tried to counter and they kept coming back at the same price, so I said, screw it. I did, uh, got rid of them. Uh, zero, zero on Poshmark today. Uh, I did, uh, there's tracking start. So yeah, zero on Poshmark. I, what was interesting enough, though, on eBay, I had someone message me that said um, they wanted one of my Rams jerseys, but they wanted it by Super Bowl, and they would pay for shipping. Uh, sorry, hold on. Looks like some people have, have done database design. Donna did. Nice. Blackberry's retired. Nice. Uh, all right. So someone wanted to pay for shipping. All my uh, items have free... 99, 95% of my stuff has free shipping. So this person wanted uh, the jersey before the Super Bowl. So they said, I will pay for priority shipping instead of free shipping. So I said, all right, I'll, if you add $5 to it, uh, I will ship it uh, for, I'll ship it priority. You should get it between two and three days. I can't guarantee it based on the weather, but uh, you should get it by, I said, I think Friday. Friday, they should get it at at minimum by Saturday, I would think. I'm going to mail in the morning. So either way, I went into the listing, and uh, I knew, I kind of knew this was there, but this is more for information for everybody else if they want to do it this way. If you have free listings and you want to offer someone to pay for an upgraded option, you can go in and you can add another shipping option that the buyer can select. Uh, for this specific purchase, I went into the listing and I added a flat rate option or when the, the buyer went in and selected the t-shirt, he changed the t-shirt to add the flat rate shipping cost, which was five bucks. So I had to edit it five bucks. So what I did was uh, I added that on there. They purchased it up the price by five bucks. I cut them a little deal, so I still have to pay a little bit for shipping, not much. I'm okay with it. Uh, I still will recoup some of my fees, which is okay. So what I did, since the Super Bowl is what is it the third is that right is it sunday right um i went in on that listing and i still have a couple hundred left i added a priority option since if someone orders it between today and tomorrow if they want to upgrade to the priority service they can select the priority option otherwise they'll get free first class so if you're not utilizing that option on ebay it's there uh if you want to uh, have people pay for their own shipping if they do want to upgrade which i thought was pretty cool <laughs> Sue Ann, yeah, Sue Ann, your name was first on my screen. And then Scott was like a tenth of a second after you. So I think uh, so Scott, I think, think, said a millisecond. Or yeah, Sue Ann beat him by a millisecond. Nice. Nanosecond. Oh, I missed it. Three sales today. Donna had three. Who else said stuff? 
three sales. What else? Uh, all right. Poshmark zero, Amazon zero, eBay. I had eight. So today was good. Eight sales today. Mostly jerseys uh, sold another NHL jersey sold Under Armour zip up. So a lot of the zip up stuff still sells. I sold one of my bulk buy hats. So bulk buy Browns hats. Uh, that's my second one of like 60, I think. So I still got a way to go on those. But people are buying them full price, which is nice. And then I finally sold this, which was from the bins. We talked about um, school branded stuff. So this was a uh, Denison University lacrosse boathouse uh, pull uh, full zip coat. It is mis missing the bottom cinch, but uh, I put that in there. Someone bought it for $32 and I got it from the bins or the outlets, whatever you want to call it. Uh, they bought it, uh, I say full price, but uh, I was shooting for above 30. I'm glad it went for above 30 because I bought it for next to nothing. Hey, Mike, the crazy card, what's up? Linda had two, 12 on Etsy. Nice. Uh, where's the other picture? Oh, I thought I had a second picture, I guess. Hold on. Oh, there we go. So there's the other one right there, Denison. Uh, there is Boathouse. So I have a lot of success with this brand, Boathouse. There's a lot of uh, schools, I guess, that use that brand to uh, buy merchandise, buy coats, T-shirts, shorts, and there's it screened on the back. So that's kind of cool. Some people do like that. But $32, I'll take it. Let's see. I missed something here. Flippin' Particles says, I tested your theory about countering and never declining last week in an item that was selling quickly. The one that had declined, they buried it until I ended it and relisted it. They buried it. I declined. They buried it until I ended it and relisted it. What's that mean? I'm not following. Uh, yes, I. So with the, I never decline. I only decline if they keep coming back. I've had people once I decline their double offer of the same price, they'll come back and up the price, and then I'll usually accept it. Uh, I tend not to cave if it's a good price. I'll cave. Otherwise, I'll keep going for it. Star City Picker had five. Nice. Pac-Man had nine. Awesome. Uh, Linda, we got Linda. Hey, Scott, what's going on? Bearded Pickers in here. What's up? Just in time flipping. What is a Mitchell Ness jersey worth a Shaq and a LeBron? Uh, I have a Michael Jordan Mitchell Ness. Uh, assuming it doesn't have tears, they can go for a little bit of money. I actually have my uh, Michael Jordan one up for, I think, $125. So Mitchell Ness still carries, I mean, I say still, it carries a bunch of value to it. Um, my Mitchell Ness hats I've listed for between 25 and 30, but those are brand new. Uh, Mitchell Ness is a great brand. If you can find multiples of them, uh, I would not list that uh, list that low just in time. Uh, just in time, I should say. I listed high. I'd at least, I haven't, without looking at comps, if I had to guess, maybe do 100 bucks with best offer, and depending on what you bought it for. But Shaq and LeBron, maybe even higher than that. Maybe 125. Oh, eBay buried the listing. I see what you're saying, flipping particles. See, I've had the opposite. I've countered. It's been it's sitting in someone else's inbox, and someone's come in and bought at full price. Probably 90% of the time when I counter, that happens. If that happens to anyone else in the chat, let's hear in the chat if that happens, if, if you counter somebody and someone else comes in and buys at full price. I think the declining, I don't know, is it the declining you think where it uh, it hurts? Oh, yeah, yeah, you did say the decline hurts it. Yeah, the decline, I think, kills it. To your point. Sorry, I screwed up reading it wrong. Uh, all right, so we'll get into what I picked up as well as I want to hear what you guys have picked up. Hey, Jennifer, what's going on? How's it going? Good to see you. All right, I picked up two more of these. Picked up two more of these Wii's, and I got to try them out. They were $2.99 each. Now, which is nice is they. I have three of the whites. The bad part is there's all these stickers on this. So eventually, I'm going to have to get around to cleaning the stickers off. I know I can use goo going on it, uh, let it sit and peel it off with a Scotty peeler. Uh, otherwise, I picked up two more. I'm a punishment shipping those things, and I have to test them all. So I picked those up as they fall. Uh, activity, yeah, activity on the listing. So all, I never decline. Rarely will I decline. The guy was, um, or I should say the person was countering me on a Royal Caribbean 
jacket. If you can find Royal Caribbean, uh, the coats, it'll say Royal Caribbean, and it has the logo, and I believe it says International under it. Uh, look for those. I've sold one of those, I think, for uh, 25 or 30 bucks. This one is a pretty nice one. I think I can at least get 30 for it. Uh, Royal Caribbean. Look, look for those. Uh, do you ever bundle them with the games? No, Pac-Man, I do not. I sell them straight guitar only, Amazon. Uh, I need to find, if I can find four boxes, uh, I'm going to ship them to FBA. Otherwise, I'm going to keep them merchant fulfilled for the moment and then uh, list them or list them. And then once I find those boxes, I probably will send them into FBA. But I want to box them up before I send them just because they're two pieces. So that was the first thing. That was two. So now I have three whites and one brown. And I like buying multiples of things just because it's easier. I can let it ride. And how's everyone doing with the weather? It's supposed to be negative 50 wind chill, right, in Chicago? That's crazy. What, five minutes outside and get frostbite? It's been cold here. It's not that cold yet. And my watch has died. I don't know what temperature is now. It was like 11 after we came home from hockey. All right. eBay room is out my enclosed porch. Uninsulated. Oh, no. Three degrees in Fort Wayne, Indiana. It's getting there. Tomorrow's going to be crazy. All the schools are canceled around here. Fine in Texas. I'm sure it's fine down there. Rain in 37 in Connecticut. Make that two. Oh, they canceled your school for two days. Negative 33 de degrees Celsius in Canada. Isn't that zero or one Fahrenheit? I could be converting wrong. All right, let's see what uh, billiard weather. 14, 14 right now. Oh, negative 20. I got it all screwed up. Justin's 42 in Washington. Whoa, negative 22 there. Not too bad yet. Wait till it gets overnight. All right, so I picked this up. This is the first pickup. So this is a shoulder bag from Wendy's. So where this thrift store that I go to, the headquarters uh, has Wendy's. Wendy's, Wendy's International is uh, headquartered in Dublin, Ohio. The flag, I think it's the flagship store is right across the street. I found this bag, it's brand new. The only thing I don't like about it is it's Velcro only. There's no clasp to it. Otherwise, it's in great condition like person never used it i liked it because this was embroidered if this was screened on uh, i wouldn't have bought it but look at that it's pretty much brand new some collector will come around come along buy it up uh nothing in it but probably a promo bag i'm just guessing but uh so what's unique about this person the, the cashier i always go to at this store she always comments on my items she goes you find the nicest items I say I know, thank you. Uh, so, and when I buy bags, she always asks to put the clothes in the bag, which I'm okay with. So they like to be uh, saving bags, which which is pretty nice, right? They're looking to, to conserve. So she was able to get everything in, in this bag. I was surprised, minus the guitars. Uh, but I paid. Was it? I actually rounded it up today. Since she complimented my eye for finding good stuff, I round up. It was like 38 cents. So $51. 51 right there. 51 All right. And just because I found multiples, so it'll make it easier on me to list. Uh, one item I did pick up, minus the Wendy's bag, I think I was almost going to leave behind. Looking it up, I thought better. And again, I looked it up in a span of like 20 seconds. So if I get the comp wrong, please let me know. Yeah, Outdoor Girl, your dog wears booties too, right? Follow Outdoor Girl on uh, Instagram. She's a cute dog. But, uh, all right, I found these two. I found two of them. Again, some more crew stuff. This uh, Adidas, Adidas stuff, MLS stuff. With Again, we talked about last night with the patch. Uh, that stuff, I got one. Same item right next to it. They didn't even have tags on it. So all the, uh, all these polos I got for uh, she charged me four twenty nine I think so four twenty nine they're polos so there you go I got two of those same size always make sure when you get multiples that look the same make sure the size is right 
Uh, you don't want to list multiples of two and have two different sizes and send the wrong one out. Yep, so both extra large there. Two more things I got. Uh, automobile stuff, automobile clothing, uh, depending on the type of car brand, uh, Honda, BMW, BMW sells really well. I've never sold this one before. I'm thinking it should be all right, but uh, kind of snagged at the bottom. Oh, something came out, which is okay. I'll listen on there, but this one looks okay. This is a BMW, not BMW, Mercedes-Benz, sorry. Mercedes-Benz polo shirt, crown Euro cars. And look at the tag. So that right there is kind of cool. Look at that. Mercedes-Benz USA collection. Both size medium, two of them. There's one. And there's two. Bingo. So two of the same again. So that I thought those were good finds, and those were sitting right next to each other. Uh Bicycling shirts can do okay. This is the one I almost left behind. But given the color and the design on it, these, in front of what I've looked within the 20 seconds I looked at, uh, brand new goes for like 55 to 60 from what I saw. Uh, used was between 25 and 30. Donna says, make sure it's not Vera. Yes, I will. Uh, I will check in the Ben shirts to make sure they're not Vera. Vera. Uh, Vera. SMG says dealer shirt. Oh, there you go. Put that in the title. Outdoor Girl found a Colorado Avalanche jersey. That's awesome. I actually sold one tonight, so you should be all right. Is it patched on or is it sewn on? And what size? Is it, Last question. Is there a player on it? Uh, look at the back. So it's got the stars and stripes. Uh, usually the cycling shirt's a giveaway with the pockets in the back. Uh, again, look for the brand. So the Cannondale as well as check, even with polo shirts, check your back corners. So this is uh, Vertex, V-E-R-T-E-X. Uh, it has venting on the side. Otherwise, this shirt should sell pretty quickly. And it is a double extra large, which is even better. Hey, hey Darren, good to see you. Sewn large coho, no name on the back. Coho is an older style jersey. So you should command, uh, that should be, at least list it for what I list. Let me look at the last ones I listed. I think I post on Instagram the ones I listed. I sold a um, CCM and a Coho, and I think I listed them for, I want to say $69.99 or $74.99. Uh, list it high, and I would turn on best offer. You, will, you should at least hold out for above 40 and just be wary of shipping. Usually with my large jerseys, I ship them in my regional A long boxes. One, because it's really easy to ship in there and it's pretty sturdy. Uh, two, I don't have to hunt for a box. Jerseys, when I ship jerseys, I try to crush or not crush the logo as much as possible. I fold them. And when I say fold, it's kind of still you'd. Uh, you don't want to crease them. Uh, even though I pay probably like 50 cents more than a priority based on the weight, regional A has been the best for me. Uh, I got a ton of watches and old vintage, dirty, beat up fly reels. Oh, that's cool. Coho is the first couple years of existence with the abs existence. There you go. Yeah, outdoor girl, that's a good pickup. Make sure you take pictures of the Coho sewn in there uh, in the brand and put that in your title. Yeah, Scott sold picked up some Barbies the other day. People were people were saying he wasn't gonna get money. It sounds like he sold one for forty two dollars. Yeah, so Cannondale, look for the big name bike shirts, especially if you find bike shirts with the patterns. I have even picked up off-brand bike shirts at the bins. You can get at least 20 bucks for them. Outdoor Girl, yes, vintage, VTG. I would definitely uh, put that on your listing, and you should be just fine. Don't adjust the price. Put your best offer on there. Let it sit. Someone's going to come by and want, uh, want it. And I guess the other thing to look for is look for that logo. If it's an old style logo, like if you have the foot, so the avalanche used to have the the uh, the abominable snowman, the big foot of it, right? It's either on the shoulder or on the front. Double check if it's an old style logo, that's even more money. Uh, these are cool. These are kind of my favorites to pick up. Beer shirts, beer uh, pullovers. I say shirts, pullovers. Uh, and what's really cool about this stuff is 
any beer uh, stuff. I kind of I don't buy the pint glasses like this. I used to collect these. Actually, hold on. These are so hard to ship. I used to collect these beer uh, beer glasses, pint glasses. Uh, I wouldn't pick those up, at least to sell. But in terms of clothing, pick up clothing. Uh, Darren, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it as well as Scott Liquidation King. Thanks. Um, the other thing to look for is, I don't know what they're called. They're like drip mats at the bars. Those little things they put underneath the taps, and they have uh, low beard logos in them. I found one that was, uh, I think, a tequila company. No, it was um, Honey honey Whiskey or whatever. I forget what it was called. If you find those drip mats, I've sold brand new drip mats for about 50 bucks. So double check for those drip mats, the beer stuff. But this beer thing right here, especially with the logos on it, Silver Bullet. Look at that. Coors Light on the front. I will sit on this stuff. People will eventually buy it. You know what? Command at least 40, 40 bucks. At least, at least what I'll hold out for uh, without looking at comps again. Scott, you're still sick. Oh, man. Hopefully you get better. Uh, I'm always on the lookout for the old LA logo and the starter stuff. Yeah, Los Angeles Kings. If you find Los Angeles Kings with the old style crown, the crown logo, and the purple jerseys with the crowns on them, those are highly sought after. But, all right, so that's, and then this is even better. It's Nike Golf. So Nike Golf right there, dry fit. Uh, this shouldn't last long. Uh, I picked this up again. It's it's like a Denison University. The my I think it's University of Miami Redhawks. Uh, I did pick it up just because it is Nike. It is a team jersey, screened on. Uh, I'm gonna have to look. I doubt it's a authentic jersey. I'm not sure. Uh, oh, it is, well, it says it says Nike authentic. So it is a medium, it says authentic on the tag, but I'm not sure if it, let me rephrase it. I'm not sure if it's team issue. So, but I bought it just because of that. I bought it solely because of this tag. Not sure uh, if that will, uh, this should still get command some value and sit on it, even though it's a lesser named school. It's not Alabama, but it should bring in some money. Outdoor Girl, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. Thanks for the $5. Always love your your pictures. Keep putting up uh, pictures uh, of your hiking. Takes me out of my office setting when I'm looking at it. All right, last thing I picked up, and this brand is always a pickup. Now, depending on price and if it's damaged or not. But uh, they're right here, Pearl Zumi. Found another one of these. Look at the tag. Uh, this one, usually they say men's or women's. This says double XL. Uh, and this is looks to be a uh, biking jacket because it does have the pockets on it. Uh, I am not sure if it's men's or women's. Usually I can tell by the cut on the inside. Uh, this is not curved in. So I will have to look at similar listings or uh, look to make sure if it's men's or women's. I'm not 100% sure. But I'll just have to do a little research on that. But uh, yeah, high end one. Yeah, this stuff's awesome. Pearl Izumi, uh, it can hold value, so don't change your price on them. Keep them high, and uh, you'll get get your money. Patriots, Patriots, excuse me. Patriots are going down on Sunday. What's the spread? Is it still negative three? Uh, favored the Patriots. iPhone 10X is super crispy. It is. All right. So I am traveling next week. I am going to Vegas Tuesday through Thursday. I will have more on that. It is related to liquidation. Uh, uh, keep you posted. 56 is the over and under. Uh, I would. I might play the under on that. I'm not sure. Oh, they're not anymore. Go, go, Pats. Sold a cookie jar, in Mercari. Nice. That's awesome. Take the over in the Super Bowl, Scott, and always. You know, Scott always comes in. Scott, yeah, I'll be there. I don't know how much time I'll have, though. Uh, I'll be all day. But uh, I'll have more on that in the coming week. So I will uh, I'll let you know. Yeah, Chibs, I would think play the under. Just because I don't know if the, the Rams could score that much. But who knows? Patriot uh, Brady's been stopped before. But I don't know if he could be. 
All right, guys. Uh, dropped off my shipment today. Uh, hopefully, you guys get some stuff listed. I got 13 listed last night. I want to see if I can bust out more than 13 tonight. I only have eight to ship, and I say only. Uh, and it's nice just because they're clothing items and they're easy to ship. So I should be able to focus more on listing uh, and then get some other stuff sorted, hung up, and uh, see, what's, uh, see what else we can get done for the night. But thanks for coming, everyone. Uh, have a great Tuesday evening. We will talk to you guys tomorrow. Uh, more hauls coming in. Uh, trying to get some more wholesale in here and uh, flip some more stuff. Thanks for coming, guys. We'll talk to you later. See ya.